The following program may contain coarse language, violence, nudity, mature subject matter, or scenes which may not be suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. All hit radio. Welcome to the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. And welcome back to the X Zone, everyone. I am Rob McConnell coming to you from our broadcast center and studios in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. If you'd like to send me an email, X Zone at X Zone Radio TV.com on all social media sites, X Zone Radio TV. And we're coming to you around the world tonight on the Talk Star Radio Network, Mutual Broadcast Network, Exxon Broadcast Network, and on Simul TV channel number 34, or is it 32? Oh, Craig says 34. There you go. Craig doesn't lie. He doesn't forget. I do. Uh, let me see a bit of house cleaning uh, once again. Our condolences go out to Kevin Randall, who lost his dear wife, uh, Debbie, a couple of days ago. Our hearts and our prayers and you know, the loss of a loved one is not easy, especially when it's somebody you know that you've worked with all these years. And, you know, Kevin has a long history of being one of our top show hosts here at the Exxon Broadcast Network, as well as being a very close and personal friend. Next, 50 for free. That is, we are giving away 50 free TV channels. No, we're not giving you the channels. What we're doing is we're allowing you access to 50 of Simul TV's top television uh, channels. And yes, that does include the Exxon. As well, you will get ni access to 90 video games in five languages and thousands of video on demands, 100% free. And if you keep on checking our website, we'll uh, bring you up to date on that. And this is going to be something from our good friends at Beautiful Mind Coffee, the Exxon TV channel, and of course, Simul TV. My guest this hour is a young lady I've had the pleasure of knowing for many years now. Her name is Dr. Georgina Cannon. She is in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And in my opinion, she is the foremost authority when it comes to hypnosis. So joining me now from Toronto is Georgina Cannon. And Georgina, welcome back to the Exxon. Always good talking to you. It's great talking to you. Yes, it's a pleasure to see you. You are so busy. Um, my goodness, you, you, you teach, you write, you, you, you have a very busy practice. Uh, but for those people who haven't had the pleasure of seeing you or hearing you before, tell us a little bit about who Dr. Georgina Cannon is. First and foremost, I work with people through all media to help them find their magnificence. So whether it be through my books, through my teaching at the University of Toronto, or through my clinic, which everything's on Zoom right now, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, even the classes are on Zoom. So that's what I do. And I, I do regression therapy, hypnosis, um, past life regression, past and uh, life between lives. Also couples uh, therapy, get people getting together with their relationship, and helping mend that. But my first love is always working with people and helping them find who they are and how they are and, and the, their best self. And I've done that always, even when I was in the corporate world and even when I was a journalist, mm -hmm. uh, that's part of what I did. So that's who I do, what I do and who I am, really. You know, I, I guess I haven't spoken to you since COVID. How did COVID affect the world through in your eyes and um, your experience? Uh, first of all, it made people realize that uh, they had to rely on themselves because they spent a lot of alone time and right. for some people, that was very difficult. Uh, it's the first time they hadn't had the, the dust and noise of every day and people around them. They had to sit with themselves and find out who they were and how they were. And for some people, it was life-changing. For some people, it was devastating. Um, for extroverts, it was very difficult. Uh, for introverts, they found a new hobby. It's quite extraordinary how many people learn to paint or yeah. learn to write. Yeah, you know, they, they found different parts of themselves. So the, the COVID experience, if, if you didn't get sick, was in a way life changing, both good and bad. If you did get sick, I just hope it was a light dose and you're not a, a long hauler, as they say. 
I have friends who are long haulers and it's very difficult for them. I am wondering how COVID is going to be reflected in past lives and years to come. I think it'll be a, um, a line in the sand. I think uh, people will see it as something that changed them. Mm -hmm. And when they look back, they'll see how they used it or it used them. And I think that's, that's what will happen. Uh, people who have an inner resilience will always have it no matter what. Have you found an increase in the interest in past lives and between lives? Absolutely. What do you think the catapult was? Sorry, say that again. What do you think that the the reason for this sudden interest in past lives and uh, lives in between or between lives? I think what they're looking for more. They're looking for more. Uh, you know, they say, "Is that all there is?" Mm -hmm. They're looking for more. What and particularly karma. You know, you know, I, my my uh, thing about karma. People blame karma. They blame mm -hmm. karma. They blame their mother. They blame their boss. They blame uh, their, their friend. But they and they blame karma. But they don't go inside. So they think that it's karma, and and they try to find a reason. And the reason for COVID is that that's it happens. Uh, yeah. Diseases happen worldwide. Um, every so often, I think it's every eighty years something happens. Um, it's probably less now, I think, because we had polio, if you remember that. That was a, a, a big one, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think just it helped people do some soul searching. And, and those who were used to that or who were introspective mm -hmm. handle it. And those that couldn't got very lost. In your hypnosis practice, have you found a change in uh, the reasons why people are coming to see you? I mean, besides that... You're Georgina Cannon, and you are not only a nice super lady, but you're also one of the, in fact, in my opinion, the leading expert in Canada when it comes to hypnosis. The reason they come to see me now, by and large, is that they, they got lost and they want to find themselves again. Or they had that space to think, what else? Mm -hmm. There must be more to me than this. So they want to find out what else is going on. Or they've decided... Life's too short. It's really interesting what COVID did. Life's too short. They've seen people around them getting very sick or dying. Right. Life's too short. I need to find out why I'm always angry or I need to find out why I'm always resentful or guilty. Or And so before they might not have searched it, they might have just kept busy. But now they've had the time to sit and think, I want to get rid of this stuff. I want to get rid of this stuff that's been hanging around me. And that's why they come to see me. Self-reflection has been... I guess one of the prime results of COVID because yeah. of the isolation that everybody faced and so on. Let's say somebody comes to you with the um, anger problem mm -hmm. and they said, you know, during COVID, I realized that I'm a very angry person. How, mm -hmm. how can you help them? Well, first of all, I find out if they have always been angry mm -hmm. or is it only since that they split up with a partner or yeah. they lost a job or whatever. If they remember always being angry, then I say to them, why don't we regress back to the point of entry of that anger into your body, into your being, not your body, your being. And it can be from a past life. It can be something you picked up from your mother in the womb. Or yeah. it can be something that happened to you when you were a newborn and you had no way of processing it. Maybe you were crying because you were wet or you were hungry and you were ignored and you just got angry, but you couldn't put it anywhere. Um, and you had no thought process, you only had feelings. So when you only have feelings before the age of about seven, you can't process your emotions, so it stays. And your emotions, and I explain this to the client, your emotions don't mature with you like your intellect does, hopefully your intellect does, but your emotions stay the same. So if something clicked into you at age three, it stays exactly the same mm. as it was at age three, which is why adults have temper tantrums that belong to a four-year-old. And we see it at airports yeah. all the time. <laughs> you know, people miss their plane or something. All right. So, excuse me. So we, you discover or what the issue is, let's say something that happened in the mother's womb and, yeah. and you suggest to the client that you take them back through, through a regression. Right. Then we look at it. We see what the issue was. Mm-hmm. 
um, and we say, okay, with the understanding that you have today, with the wise person that you are today, with the bigger picture, because as a child, you're so self-centered, you think everything happens because of you. Hopefully you get out of that as you're an adult. Sure. Um, now look at it and change that story. Bring it up to date. So we can do that if it's after birth. If it's in the womb mm -hmm. and it came from the mother, we get them to give it back to the mother because it's not theirs. The mother inadvertently fed it to them as a child in the womb. And so we get them to give it back, put up a filter and take only the nutrients. So when they rebirth themselves, they let go of that anger. If it was a past life, we do a, a process in the past life where we leave it behind where it belongs. I see. In the interlife, when you come into the interlife with your guides and you, you're clean and clear because you realize that the anger belonged in that life for that purpose, it had a purpose, but you're coming in clean and clear. So we get rid of it. But what happens if the anger develops midlife? Well, then you go back to it at that point Mm -hmm. And you have a look at it and see if it's valid and realize that it's um, dangerous because if you swallow your anger and you carry it, it, it eats away at the, the body. When we know that irritable bowel syndrome on, comes often from old anger, mm -hmm. uh, throat issues come from old anger quite often. So we change it. We, we, um, we morph it into something that's understandable. It doesn't mean you forgive if something was happened to you or something was done to you that makes you angry, but you can let it go. You can let the power of it go and understand it because right. otherwise they're winning. If you're carrying that poison, mm -hmm. the person that made you angry is winning, and that's the last thing you want to happen. You and I have to take our first break. Please stand by. Exxon Nation, Dr. Georgina Cannon is our special guest, www.georginacannon.com. When we come back, we're going to talk to the good doctor about her new book, Your Guide to Self-Discovery. This is the Exxon. I am Rob McConnell. Don't go away. Question, what is the name of the unique blend of coffee you get that has been formulated by a neurologist, a neurobiologist, and a pharmaceutical chemist? Answer, you get Beautiful Mind Coffee, a unique coffee blend that tastes great and has herbal ingredients that your brain will love, and it is not just coffee, it's brain alicious. Dr. Rathbone, Dr. Jang, and Dr. Winslow the scientific team that created Beautiful Mind Coffee decided to collaborate on a coffee focusing on brain health. As for those herbal ingredients found in Beautiful Mind Coffee, Dr. Rathbone, Dr. Jang, and Dr. Winslow, utilizing their combined extensive scientific research background, worked with many natural and herbal products until the exact formulation that is found in Beautiful Mind Coffee was created. With a unique scientific formula not found in any other coffee being sold or served, Beautiful Mind Coffee is the only coffee blend that contains three herbal ingredients found to aid in boosting your daily mental clarity and focus. Every cup of Beautiful Mind Coffee contains scientifically formulated amounts of maca root powder, green tea extract, and American ginseng, all supporting good brain health. Taking care of your brain's health now can help delay or prevent the onset of cognitive dysfunction, including dementia, Alzheimer's, and more general memory loss as you get older, just by enjoying the delicious flavor of our roasted coffee and herbal ingredients found exclusively in Beautiful Mind Coffee. Did you know that cognitive dysfunction also refers to deficits in attention, verbal and nonverbal learning, short-term and working memory, visual and auditory processing, problem-solving, processing speed, and motor functioning? For more on Beautiful Mind Coffee, the three scientists who formulated Beautiful Mind Coffee, and more details on the three unique herbal ingredients in Beautiful Mind Coffee, visit www.beautifulmindcoffee.ca. Beautiful Mind Coffee is now available online at Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. 
To order Beautiful Mind Coffee, visit www.beautifulmindcoffee.ca today. Dr. Georgiana Cannon is my guest tonight, www.georgianacannon.com. Before we get to your book, what was it that that was the catalyst in you becoming a hypnotist or hypnotherapist or what, what, what's, what's the right? Whatever. <laughs> Consulting hypnotist. <laughs> Consulting hypnotist. All right. Okay. Um, I was in, as you know, I started life as a journalist in mm -hmm. England and came to Canada and was a journalist for a while and then opened up my own PR company. And very briefly, I'll make it very, very brief. And it was bought by one of the world's largest PR companies called Burson Marstella. And I was there for quite a few years as managing director for Canada. But I got very tired of the corporate world and wanted to do something for people rather than corporations. So left and looked around and studied Reiki, color therapy, gestalt therapy, psychodrama therapy, and happened upon hypnosis. And I found hypnosis fascinating because it activates the subconscious mind, which is 90% of what we use every day. And I realized that was the answer to most people's issues or questions, the opportunity for change. So I studied it, loved it and opened up the Ontario Hypnosis Center, which I sold 10 plus years ago, and um, then studied past life regression with the wonderful Henry Bolduc and Life Between Lives with Michael Newton uh, in the early 200, 2000s. And 200s, <laughs> it makes me really old. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and since then, um, been teaching, um, writing books, um, yeah, just loving it, mm -hmm. just spreading it and, and showing people that they have the answers. And when I teach, mm -hmm. I tell my students to remember the client always has the answer. People always know what to do. It's just they don't want to know. So if you get into the subconscious where the blueprint is, mm -hmm. that's when the change happens and, and it helps them change. What was it like the first time that you realized that you were in somebody else's subconscious, that you were where very, very, very few people get to go on another person? I don't go in. I'm only facilitator. All right. I'm only the facilitator. And when they're there mm -hmm. and when you're working with them and you see the change or you hear the change, there's a little, got it. They got it. And it's, a, oh, it's always exciting. It's always thrilling. And a lot of the times they come out of hypnosis, and they say, mm -hmm. oh, now I understand. Oh, so that's what triggers me. Oh, oh and I'm, oh, and you little giggle inside. And you go, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's, it's always a thrill. When uh, when you're bringing, when you're let me facilitating a hypnosis session, mm -hmm. a lot of people are talking about past lives. Now, how many past lives do you actually go through? In a session, do you mean a person or in a, when I? Well, have, let's go both a person and then the session. In a session, uh, usually two, sometimes three. If they come into a life at, say, five years old and then die at seven, you know, then we have some extra time because past life regression sessions are two hours. A normal hypnosis session is one hour. Um, so usually two, two per session. Um, how many do we actually have? I have no way of knowing, and I've not seen it written anywhere. Really? Yeah. Has there ever? I'm sorry. Also, let's not forget, 
that some people come from other planets. So not all the lives are lived on this planet. I would and imagine other dimensions as well. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say other dimensions and sometimes occasionally an animal, occasionally, hmm. or an, um, an element, occasionally, an elemental, yeah. Has there ever been a time where you were just blown away by what you were hearing? Yes, many times. Really? Yeah. Sometimes when they become an animal and the reason that, because you ask the soul, what is the purpose of this? Mm -hmm. And the soul tells you, um, one of my clients became a snake and this was a doctor, a medical doctor. Well, that explains that. <laughs> he became a snake. It was really funny. I was saying, look down at your feet and tell me what you have on your feet. And he said, I didn't have any feet. And I thought, oh, great. Now where do we go? Um, and he kept saying, I'm so hungry and I can see this bird and I'm hungry. I'm getting to it. And I realized it was a snake. And when I asked the soul, what is the purpose of this life? It was because if you have to change, you have to let go of one skin to become another skin. Ah. And I mean, you don't make that stuff up. No. no, no, no. So, yeah. But the soul, uh, the very essence uh, that stays with us, apparently, for through a time and eternity. Yeah. Where, do we, where do we keep all this information? In the deep subconscious or the super Really, eh? Yeah, in the deep. The, the subconscious mind remembers everything that mm. ever happened to you because it's connected directly to the superconscious. And students discover when they study hypnosis, they become more and more aware. Some of them start seeing auras, some of them start becoming more uh, empathetic or more intuitive, because once you open up the subconscious mm -hmm. and start working with it, you become much more in tune, right? Because we just shut it down with the conscious brain to keep going every day. Truly fascinating, Georgina. Exonation, Dr. Georgina Cannon's my guest, www.georginacannon.com. Let's talk about your book, your latest book, my Your latest. Guide to Self-Discovery. Yes. Yes. I, I realized um, a couple of things at one point when I was sitting daydreaming, as, as we do, um, that we are versions of ourself that we've been told. We've been told since we were a child, you are this, you are creative or you are stupid or you are. And then society tells us what we are. We never know anything other than that. So we, we grow up and mature, hopefully, within this narrow confine of what we've been told we are on one hand. On the other hand, since time began, mm -hmm. humans have wanted to find out more about themselves. They've cast stones. They, they lately have read cards or crystals or whatever. And I thought, what would happen if I could open up that door and people could find out more about themselves by themselves, not have anybody else tell them what, who they are or what they are. So I started talking to experts from around the world and asked them if they'd be interested in collaborating in some way, shape or form. And then I decided to write the book. And what I've done is collect uh, a chapter from some pretty well-known people, experts in their field on um, how to tell more about yourself. So um, let me read you some names here. Certainly. Yeah, I've gotten here because my memory is not what it wants. Uh, Kelly Sullivan Waldron tells you how to understand your dreams. So every chapter tells you about it. So whether it be astrology or hand reading or right. Facebook, reading or numerology tells you how to do it for yourself and then at the end of each chapter you you do a little um script about what you've learned from that chapter and at the end of the book you're encouraged to say let me introduce yourself to yourself my name is and then you talk about you write a paragraph about what you found out about yourself that you didn't know before that is truly fascinating yeah it is because people love finding out about themselves so, so we're we're talking about self-discovery that is really self-help because you're discovering what the help is that you need on your own. It's almost like an archaeological yeah. dig of yourself, right? Wow. Yeah. So I've got some wonderful authors. Um, Grandmother Crow, mm -hmm. who is a First Nations uh, person who wrote about finding your animal guide. 
um, Beryl Comar in Spain, who wrote about emotional intelligence, um, David Shepard writing, writing about numerology, Donna Marks writing about birth order, um, the person who heads up uh, innovation at York University, Leanne McAleer, writes about creativity. Um, and let me see who else. Uh, Paulette Sherman talks about finding your archetypes. Crystal Pomeroy, meeting your angels. Um, your Kashik records, Maureen St. Germain. Oh, yeah. Auras, what do your auras say? You, how to read your aura, your own aura, and what the colors mean by Richard Webster. How to make NLP work for you, Mary Lugon. And SWAT, you know, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. How to understand yourself that way around by um, Kim Coughlin. So it covers, um, and of course, astrology by Kathy. Sure. Yeah. So it covers the whole spectrum of new age, modern thinking, to find out more about the facets of yourself. It's an archeological dig of your personality, of who you are. It's fun. And, and for our listeners who do not know what NLP is, that's Neuro Linguistic Programming. Right, right. And, and um, you, you mentioned one of the sections by someone was about birth order. Yes, oh, that's- What, what is that? It's big. And, and by the way, I really believe in birth order. And when I ran the company, I used to hire according to birth order for certain positions in the company. Really? Yeah. If you're the firstborn, right. uh, and there's a, uh, some wonderful books about birth order. I forget the name of the author. I've got it in my bookshelf somewhere. It's the new birth order by, it's back here and I'll come forward eventually. Um, it's called the new birth order, that book. It's, it's very good. And um, by and large, there's always exceptions, but by and large, all entrepreneurs, most CEOs are firstborn. Mm -hmm. Most um, entertainers, comedians, performers, sale, good salespeople are the youngest of the family. Really? Yeah. That is interesting. What about the middle children? A lot of middle children are politicians. <laughs> <laughs> They've learned to balance. They've learned yeah. to deal up and down and sideways mm -hmm. um then i got from mediators it's it's a fascinating uh concept and i found it really works when if i was looking for someone who was going to be dealing with clients a client service person i i if i had a choice between two people and their attributes were the same i'd choose the youngest of the family because they knew how to charm the char usually very charming and funny entertainers naturally yeah both orders is important all right when we come back from this break we have to take now let's talk more about the new age connection and your new book your guide to self-discovery. Dr. Georgina Cannon is my special guest, www.drgeorginacannon.com. Uh, and, and where is your book available, Georgina? On Amazon, of course. Indigo has it in Canada. And uh, your local bookstores, the smaller bookstores will have it in Canada in June, but it's everywhere in the States in, in May. All right. Dr. Georgina Cannon is my guest www.georgianacannon.com. This is the Exxon. I am Rob McConnell. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
Explanation, Dr. Georgina Cannon's my guest, GeorginaCannon.com. We're talking about Georgina's latest book, Your Guide to Self-Discovery. Um, why do you think that the new age is catching so much attention these days and more and more people are looking at it as reality instead of woo-woo-ism? <laughs> I think the woo-woo thing is gone. Um, <laughs> I think it's just one more um, protocol, if you like. Um, right. Um, personally, I, I think extreme religion is woo-woo. So. Oh, yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, you're, everybody's version of woo-woo is different, right? Uh, but I'm not woo-woo. I just think that, that um, regression and hypnosis are just a tool to help you get where you need to go. But why do I think, I think it's an escape, mm -hmm. uh, same as people use um, games, video games, um, drugs, drink. It's an escape. It, it, it helps you um, realize there's another thing to the world rather than uh, CNN or, and the bad news or and the guns and the killing and the, the wars and the starvation. Because right now we're going through some terrible times on the planet. We are. What's happening to the earth, what's happening uh, to the weather. And you could very easily get lost in that if you don't have somewhere else to go. That's why the inner strength is so important. You must be able to feel comfortable in your skin because otherwise you'll get lost in the chaos and dust of every day. It's so, how, so how do we, how do we, how do we survive in a in a 724 365 news cycle when we're inundated by news on every platform possible well i think first of all you have to understand what who you are mm -hmm. what you stand for what your values are how you live your life what your character is and that and i'm not plugging my second book but that's what that book was about the third circle about understanding your values and understanding who you are and how you want to live your world because how we live our world within the world makes our life even in the worst circumstances in refugee camps there's always some people that make it better for other people there's always some people that survive and make something happen there are others that become victims and others that somehow um, live their truth and rise to the top. They either become teachers or leaders or or just live within their family and make it as comfortable as they can. They don't become the victim. So I think that's what we need to do. We need to find a way of, of understanding what we stand for, our value system, our priority system, and um, be comfortable in our skin. And then things, nobody can blindside us. Nobody can knock us off our feet because we're, or nothing can knock us off if it make us uncomfortable, but we're still solid inside. We still know who we are and what we stand for. Being a teacher at the University of Toronto, um, what is the reaction with students when they first meet you and and they start actually opening up their eyes to what you have had the ability to do to so many? <clears throat> well, don't forget they come to the class because that's what they want to do. Right. It's, it's the continuing education part of the University of Toronto. So they come and I have everybody from doctors to uh, social workers, to psychologists, to dentists, dental assistants, and people who are computer programmers who want to come out and find out about themselves. And it's booked up every time. It's three semesters, by the way. And it's um, it starts off with very pragmatic stuff, like you know, how to change habits. And then it goes into uh, more esoteric, more spiritual types of hypnosis in the third semester. Um, they just, because they're working on themselves, they find it life-changing. Mm -hmm. And they find it surprising. And I call it the art and science of hypnosis. Because it is a science, but it's also how you do it. It's, it's an art, like anything, you know, mm -hmm. like whether you go to massage, if you learn to do massage, some mm -hmm. people just rub you the wrong way and other people have healing hands. Everybody's different. Right. Yeah. So how many how many students do you have in a class? I used to have 30, but on Zoom, that's hard to handle. So we right. cut it down to 26. 
So it's 26 in a class, and they're usually booked up way ahead. So right now, I know that the May class is full. So people are booking into September. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So can we actually say this is a new awakening that we're experiencing? Well, I've been doing it there for uh, 10 years, eight, eight years, eight years. So it's not that new. But I think people are becoming more accepting of it. I don't know if you remember way back when, when you and I first started talking, I was doing grand rounds in hospitals talking to doctors. Yes, I remember that, yes. Yeah. So ex explaining that it wasn't woo-woo and it's nothing I did to people. They, I just facilitated it and they did it themselves. And then when I demonstrated it, they got it. And that's how it spread. I even think back then uh, the thought of Eastern and Western medicine joining was... Oh, that'll never happen. That's that'll right. never happen. I could punch uh, the poo. Yeah, that's right. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, I, I sure do. And back then, hypnosis wasn't respected. No, people would walk past me like this and, and avoid my eyes. It was very funny. It was really very strange. And I, through education, people know it's it's it's. I'm not doing anything. They're doing it. Yeah, I still say you should have turned Bob Cowan at CHCH into that chicken. <laughs> by, by, the, by the way, now, he's retired. He just retired this year. Oh, did he? My goodness, yeah. Uh, he's done a great job uh, for Hamilton as well as, uh, you know, the people at CHCH. Yeah. You and I have to take our final break, so please stand by. Exonation. Dr. Georgina Cannon is our guest, www.georginacannon.com. And uh, we're going to be wrapping up this hour in the next segment as we continue here in our X zone from the broadcast center here in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. So I was watching the X-Zone TV channel last night when I was abducted by aliens and they kept repeating to me over and over again, Simultv.com, Simultv.com. What's Simultv.com? That's what I asked them. They had it written on the side of their UFO. How do you spell that? UFO. No, I mean Simultv.com. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. Right. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. Interesting that you were abducted by aliens in a Simultv.com UFO last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Now that you mention it, I remember now last night I was awakened from a deep sleep. My great grandmother was standing there. She said she'd come from the hereafter to tell me about Simultv.com. She even spelled it out for me. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com, Sonny Boy. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com, Sonny Boy. Wow. Yeah. Guys, you'll never guess what my psychic guru just told me. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. Exactly. Are you guys psychic too? Of course. We all know about Simultv.com. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. And we're back. And if any of you start clucking like a chicken, it's our guest uh, who did it. That's right. <laughs> Dr. Georgina Cannon is our special guest. No. And her website is georginacannon.com. Um, always great seeing you, Georgina. And thank you for the wonderful work that you do, because I know that you've helped so many people over the years. And um, Got to make your own kind of music. Oh, you know what? We can't do that anymore. We can't do that anymore. No, we can't. Uh, you know, everybody has to make their own kind of music. And for those people who are out there who haven't heard Dr. Cannon on the show before with us, when we were just radio, we were able to play bumper music. And whenever Dr. Cannon was on, we always played Make Your Own Kind of Music by Mama Cass Elliot. And uh, that was that song is so you. That is so you. Um, so what's next for you, Dr. Cannon? Well, I have another book in the back of my head coming forward. Uh huh. And um, yeah, that's that's it, really. I don't. I'm still going to keep on doing what I'm doing, and I'll probably 
you know, I, I think that when I finally do leave this world and go on to the next, I'm not going to be buried. I'm going to be you know, sprinkled amongst trees, but I have a vision of, of either my stone or the top of my casket saying, I haven't finished yet. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so much that I want to do. So if there was, if there is one thing that you would like to complete, what is that one thing? I'd like to have my own show on TV. Um, and I'd like to have it half, um, real and half like soap opera I've, mm -hmm. I've got this vision it's sort of yeah it's probably not going to happen i'm not going to live long enough to do it but it's you uh, never know <laughs> but it's, never know. Uh, it's it's um it's something because i want people to laugh i think there's nothing better than laughter and want people to have fun and learn at the same time that is the key to learning. Have fun. Have fun. You've got to have fun while you're learning. Yeah. And I think the old way of, of learning did more harm than good. Yeah. You know, the strict, you know, yeah. strictness that was out there. Um, the time is coming very fast when you and I must say so long for this edition with uh, Dr. Cannon. What are your final thoughts? What would you like to leave the Exxon Nation with? I'd like people to understand that they are in charge of who they are and how they are. And there's nothing more magical than finally realizing your strengths, your opportunities, and the fact that you can make your life exactly what you want it to be. And if you don't change the victim part of you, you're going to have to come back and do it again. Oh, boy. Yeah. So stop being a victim. Start living. Start enjoying life. And start being who you really want to be. Because you've got it inside you. Everybody has light. Everybody has that ability to flourish. Right. So allow yourself to flourish. I know there's there's issues around. People are taking care of people who are ill. People are out, out of work. Um, I know they're, they're short of money and short of food. But there's, there's opportunity to enjoy the flowers. There's opportunity to enjoy the, the nature. There's everything to uh, enjoy if you look for it, because we see what we look for. Reminds me of that song by uh, Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before I forget, my wife said to say hello to you. Oh, bless her. Yeah. yeah and, and in fact, Exxon Nation, my wife was going in for a surgical procedure. And she contacted Dr. Uh, Cannon. And Dr. Cannon gave Laura some uh, some tips on what to do. Yes. And she went through the procedure. And whenever she talks to somebody about the procedure, she always credits you oh. with helping make it as easy as it was. Yes. Thanks to what you taught her so yeah. i want to th i want to thank you for laura because uh, she always speaks so highly of you and we oh, have to get yeah. together again in toronto to have some more wine that would be very nice yes dr cannon as always thank you ever so much uh you, all your books are available online and i'm sure there's a lot of information that our listeners and viewers can find out fascinating as well as how to contact you for a one-on-one -on -one consultation on yes. your website that's right and that website is GeorginaCannon.com. Dr. Cannon, Georgina, take care of yourself, my dear friend. And always, thank you so much for being thank with us. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Exonation, if you'd like to get more information about uh, Dr. Cannon, please visit her website at www.GeorginaCannon.com. I'll be back on the top of the hour after the news as we continue here in the Exxon with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast center and studios in St. Catharines, Ontario. Question, what is the name of the unique blend of coffee you get that has been formulated by a neurologist, a neurobiologist, and a pharmaceutical chemist? Answer, you get beautiful mind coffee, 
a unique coffee blend that tastes great and has herbal ingredients that your brain will love, and it is not just coffee, it's brain delicious. Dr. Rathbone, Dr. Jang, and Dr. Winslow, the scientific team that created Beautiful Mind Coffee, decided to collaborate on a coffee focusing on brain health. As for those herbal ingredients found in Beautiful Mind Coffee, Dr. Rathbone, Dr. Jang, and Dr. Winslow, utilizing their combined extensive scientific research background, worked with many natural and herbal products until the exact formulation that is found in Beautiful Mind Coffee was created. With a unique scientific formula not found in any other coffee being sold or served, Beautiful Mind Coffee is the only coffee blend that contains three herbal ingredients found to aid in boosting your daily mental clarity and focus. Every cup of Beautiful Mind Coffee contains scientifically formulated amounts of maca root powder, green tea extract, and American ginseng, all supporting good brain health. Taking care of your brain's health now can help delay or prevent the onset of cognitive dysfunction, including dementia, Alzheimer's, and more general memory loss as you get older, just by enjoying the delicious flavor of our roasted coffee and herbal ingredients found exclusively in Beautiful Mind Coffee. Did you know that cognitive dysfunction also refers to deficits in attention, verbal and nonverbal learning, short-term and working memory, visual and auditory processing, problem-solving, processing speed, and motor functioning? For more on Beautiful Mind Coffee, the three scientists who formulated Beautiful Mind Coffee, and more details on the three unique herbal ingredients in Beautiful Mind Coffee, visit www.beautifulmindcoffee.ca. Beautiful Mind Coffee is now available online at Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. To order Beautiful Mind Coffee, visit www.beautifulmindcoffee.ca today.